Cheeky, it's your boy Fist in his house, bringing another great edition of Modern Warfare 2 on YouTube for you. Because, hey, that's what I like to do. Gaming with my friends, Karachi Umagachi, I got your body, Tire 21, having fun. Back in the day, it's okay. Rhyming, no, and it's not gay. So, anyways. A lot of stuff. I mean, I've been looking at a lot of stuff. I've been listening to a lot of what people have to say. You know, I try not to. I try not to. I try not get in to get into that negative vibe anymore. Here's the thing. Here's my message to you guys out there. If you're feeling like, if you're feeling jagged, or you're feeling edged by somebody, you're feeling salty. Here's my suggestion to you. When you when you feel salty or you're hating on somebody or hating on something I wouldn't say something but just somebody that's doing something there's no I mean I'm not and I'm not talking about myself I'm just saying you know something that you really you really have to be mature to get through it and it takes it takes experience of it to go through it I mean everybody every everybody goes through it you know you're gonna hate on somebody or you're gonna be salty about something it's just that's just that's the nature of being a human being and what I've learned is this is that if you take the time to be salty or hate on somebody those people that you're hating on they're not gonna notice it anyway because they're do they're too busy succeeding at whatever you're hating on them that they're doing and my suggestion to that is this instead of just focusing that type of energy and, and it's basically it, when you hate and salt on somebody you're bowing down to them and, and so instead of showing them that type of respect don't even do it don't even show it to them don't even give it to them them it she whatever and the thing I want to say is, is that take that energy take that energy and figure out how you can match what they're doing that you're so you know hating on or, or you're envious of or you're jealous of or you're salty about see the thing about it is is that when you when you wind up hating you get blinded you're blinded by it. You're you you're in a rage. And when you're in a rage, you don't you're completely lost. You don't even understand where you're at and and, and what's go even going on. But once you've dealt with it and you've never got anywhere with being that way, you know, because if you're negative, you're going to attract negative people to you. And it's 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 a very bad cancer a variant vile stench that just will just consume you at the end so what you need to do and I'm not telling you what you need to do but my suggestion is this is take that take that energy or first of all you have to recognize it and then you be like yo man how could I do what they're doing how can I get where they're at you know, and the, the great thing about it is, let's tell us, I'm going to use YouTube as an example. You can easily pass any person up. You can easily pass any person. But the thing is, is that you can't, one, for one, you can't let nobody get to you and any, let any hate or salt get to you. Because then what you're doing is you're changing up what is successful for you. The people that are most successful, they don't even listen to it. They don't have time for it. They're too busy making it. Whatever it might be, money, success. So don't let somebody take you off the path. That's their that's their whole motive. And then the then and then the people that are hating, take that energy and see how you can defeat them by beating them at their own game. Like let's say, for example, I mean, I'll give you one example. I'll give you one. I'll give you. An, I'll give you one example. So let's say you're on YouTube, and there's like you know you want to be a big commentator. You want to be successful on YouTube, and you love gaming. 
and you just can't stand that there's certain people out there that you know you can outplay them you know you can outplay them you know you're you're better in every sense of the game but the point being is that you know there's two factors on YouTube a is that if somebody was here before you there's nothing you could do about that and B if they're just that much better of an entertainer in front of the camera or on the on the commentary that's something you have to work on that's something that unless you already have that charisma in right from the beginning so for example your favorite commentator you know you you, you know you're never gonna catch him on a Call of Duty game so how do you how do you match the success of somebody else that you envy and you just get tired of hating it's not gonna work for you what you have to do you have to the great thing about YouTube it's a free form and gaming is still free on YouTube so what you need to do what I'm suggesting you to do is find some other game that you like and love it and when you love a game like you love Call of Duty that'll shine through and an example is there's plenty of people that are making it off Minecraft that would never ever get the day of light the light of day on a Call of Duty game so you know you need to recognize that you know find the next ship not let don't let certain things like you know uh, get to you you know just every time I mean the great the great cycle about gaming on YouTube is every year a whole new set of games comes out and every year there's a whole new set of people that get a hundred thousand subscribers and that could be you so don't sit back and be salty about it here's the words of the wise of fist fighting in the trenches for you shoot I might even I might even move on to PC gaming who knows what the fist is gonna do so never fear your chance is near how cliche is that but it is true I've seen plenty of people on YouTube make it from z absolutely zero and you don't need to be part of the of the uh, call of duty jargon it, proof is in the pudding with Minecraft proofs in the pudding with world at Warcraft proofs in the pudding with Starcraft proofs in the pudding with a lot of other games every year that come out they become popular I don't know all of them but take your pick I mean you, you know for you for you it might be just that Call of Duty is, is a gamers game for you that might be the game that I mean you know look at Tobuscus or T Tony Tobuscus whatever that guy's name is that guy I think he's one of the best commentators on YouTube the guy's a genius. I mean, he's really entertaining. I love watching him. I mean, he's really the only person that I think is a is a gamer that is a is a YouTube commentator who could do both if he wanted to, but he realizes that he can he could get more views by just doing him so doing him. So what I'm saying is, is that you know you could you could do whatever you want to do, but what I'm trying to say just take your energy and focus it other than you know the hater hater nation I don't really care if you hate on me I don't you know some people will never get it some people are just too young they're just too young you know it's like you know it, that's what I'm talking about hate when you hate you just if you're too young you can't manage the hate and it blinds you like you're like why is he dating that girl I'm better than him you know why you, the, 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 like when you're too, when you're younger you always look for a reason they're, they're, the, and you will never know the reason because you'll never be where they're at to know the reason and they're never gonna tell you because they're too busy making it so I'm giving you advice based on my wisdom wisdom is experience I've gone through the trenches I made a lot of bad choices I've helped at least 20 people get into machinima whether there be a director or a partner as a direct result of my help so you know I'm like I said 
You know, it opportunities are out there. You know, you, that's the only message that I want to give. Is you know, this be happy and uh, try to figure out how to you know defeat fisticuffs. I mean, there's plenty of guys that I've already had. I mean, look at damn, look at Junkyard. Junkyard had forever had trouble coming up on subs. He picked up on Minecraft, and now he's at seventy-five thousand subs. It's crazy. Anyways, it's your boy Fist. Just keeping it real. Until next time, peace. It's it's your boy Vaughn on behalf of Fisticuffs. Peace. Oh, and a shout out.